morning, Blue Eyes students and staff. Welcome to the Bulldog News on the Sick News Network. It's Bulldog Week. Congratulations to the girls basketball team. They are going to the Final Four. I am your host, Lydia. It's Tuesday, March 9th. Now on to the weather. Hi, and welcome to the weather. For today, there will be a high of 68 and a low of 50. It will be mostly cloudy. We will have 20% chance of rain looking ahead to the rest of the week, the weekend. We will have rain chances, thunderstorms, temperatures will decrease over the weekend into the 50s. As of right now, your traveling forecast for Thursday for the head up to Springfield to watch the Lady Bulldogs in the final four. Our temperatures will be in the low 70s and 60s, chances of thunderstorms. That's all for your weather. Hi and welcome to Local News. This week is Bulldog Week because the high school basketball girls will be in the Final Four. The girls will be playing Ellison Lady Whippets at 5 on Thursday in Springfield at Class 2. Remind your students to wear their Bulldog shirts on Friday to celebrate Bulldog Pride. When you are attending basketball games and sitting in the student section, you will need to be masked. Once you pay and enter the gym, you will need to remain inside the building in the student section. AR ticket shopping will be this week. Please have your students bring their tickets. 7th and 8th grade sl students, slushies are available for $1. Please pay one of the ladies in the cafeteria. Teachers, grades are due on Thursday, March 11th. Summer school dates are May 25th to June 18th. And that's all for your local news. Hi, and welcome to sports. This week is Bulldog Week because the high school basketball girls will be in the final four. The girls will be playing the Ellington Lady Whippets on five. At five on Thursday in Springfield, the Class 2 Final Four. This game will be broadcasted on our YouTube channel. Middle school volleyball girls have four games this week. Traveling, they will take on the Ozark Lady Patriots. The game will have a start time of 6 p.m. Come out and cheer them on. Looking ahead to the rest of the week, the volleyball girls will play against the Hurley Lady Tigers on Wednesday and the Purdy Lady Eagles on Thursday. All of these games will have a start time of 6 and will be broadcasted on our YouTube channel. That's all for sports. Good morning, Blue Eyes students and staff. Welcome to the Bulldog News on the Sick News Network. It's Bulldog Week. Congratulations to the girls basketball team. They are going to the Final Four. I am your host, Lydia. It's Tuesday, March 9th. Now on to the weather. To today is National Get Over It Day. Each year on the 9th of March, people across the country observe National Get Over It Day. It's just as it implies, the day is to do exactly that, get over it. If you want to relate this to basketball, if you have a bad game, get over it and do better next time. Go Bulldogs! Hi and welcome to birthdays. Today we have two local birthdays, first grader Braxton Cook and Brianna Williams, the art teacher at the high school. If you see them in the halls, make sure to wish them a happy birthday. Now on to the famous birthdays. We have 1993 Min Yoongi, or known as Suga. He is lead rapper in the band, in the South Korean band BTS, born in Daegu, South Korea. And we also have 1975 Adonal Foyle, Vincent Tian, American NBA center for the San Francisco Warriors, born in Kinnikun, San. St. Vincent and the Greetings, and that's all for your birthdays. To today is National Get Over It Day. Each year on the 9th of March, people across the country observe National Get Over It Day. It's just as it implies, the day is to do exactly that, get over it. If you want to relate this to basketball, if you have a bad game, get over it and do better next time. Go Bulldogs! Well, that's all the news we have for you today. Make sure to make plans to come out and cheer on the Lady Bulldogs on Thursday. Don't forget, we're not just the news, but the news with the Z. Hi, and welcome to your random fact. Today's random fact is about basketball. When basketball was first invented, you were not allowed to dribble, and it was played with a different ball. And that's all for your random fact. <laughs> 